So we got two different people here, both with big dreams, both very capable of their dreams becoming a reality. One of their dreams becomes a reality, the other ones doesn't. Because at one point, this person had a conversation with themselves where they had to make a decision. Behind closed doors, they weren't willing to do it. It's been a secret of their life, their entire life. They've had it. They're going to take it to their deathbed with them. They will never share it with anybody else. And I'm speculating a little bit today, but I'm going to share it with you. You tell me what you think about this. But in order for me to make my point, we've got to go back to me being 27, 26 years old. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I ran a sales contest for my sales guys. When we go to Atlanta, this contest had to do with a hot dog eating contest. So guys, who's going to eat the most hot dogs? Mario won, seven hot dogs in a minute. Another one was Monopoly. Another one was canoeing to see who can do it. A bunch of people flipped in a lake, pretty ugly. Another one had to do with horses. Anyways, at the end of it, there was this house that the former founder of the company I was a part of had built, and I wanted to see it. And I asked the guy I was with, have you ever been to that house? He says, no. I said, you might take me. I want to see the house. So we get into the car. And we go to the house and we pull up to the house. Massive, massive house. Massive. I'm talking a 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 million dollar house. Massive house we're talking about. And we pull up to the security guard. And I said, I'd like to get a tour of the house. And the security says, who are you? I said, I'm Patrick Bed David. And at the time, I'm coming up in a marketplace. I have a reputation in the insurance industry of a guy that's coming up. But I haven't made it yet. So he said, uh, I'm sorry, I can't let you. And I said, I got to see this house. Listen, it's been on my vision board. I got to see this house. Sir, you can't see this house. I said, you don't understand how life works with me. I got to go see this house. So you can't see this house. <laughs> Gates open. Boom. I run to the door. And the door is a good 50-yard run. Okay. So I'm making a run for the door. Security is chasing me. It's me, Mario, and uh, one other person or two other people. We walk up. The other four are like, we're not going to get arrested. We run up. By the way, I don't recommend you doing this. Uh, you got to hear the whole story before you go out there and try something like this. So I get to the house. I knock on the door. And I said, um, uh, I'd like to get a tour of this house. I know the owner. Can you please tell the owner I'd like to get a tour of the house? He's not here. He's out of the country. Can you please call him? So security, what do you want me to do with these guys? Just hang on for a second. Calls the security. He calls the guy. Guy says, I know who he is. Give him the tour of the house. I get a three-hour tour of the house, okay? By his brother, kind enough to do it, 26, 27 years old. I get a tour of the house, and I'm looking on and saying, oh, my gosh. My dreams are like this. I'm like, this is insane. I love this. Reminds me of Iran when I would go get a tour of Shah's house. We get in the car. As we get in the car... Everybody's like, what happened? You guys get arrested? I said, no, we didn't get arrested. We got toured house for three hours. We thought you guys were getting arrested. I said, no, we were getting a three-hour tour is what we were getting. Back then, there is no Uber. So you kind of like say, can you come pick me? We got, they're 30 minutes away. They got to come pick us. Anyways, it was a mess. But I leave and I say, I'm going to have my dream house one day. And it's not going to be like this because I like the water. I like privacy. I like guarded security with guns. I want, I'm a military guy. I want all of that. But I'm going to have my dream house one day. Anyways, fast forward. In that moment, there's a few series of questions we all go through. You go through, I go through, all of us who are young dreamers go through. What's the first one? How big are your dreams? Number one, I write them down. Here's what I want to do. I also want to do this. Also, I'm not talking about dreams. I'm talking about big, lofty. You know how they say hairy, BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goals. Like I'm talking massive dreams and goals, not small ones. I write it down. I say, I want to be able to have this one day. You can't have a path, but I want it. How do you think you can do it? Are you out of your mind? But I want it. Okay, great. So number one is, how big are your dreams? I wrote them out. Number two, how demanding is it for these dreams to become a reality? What do you mean? These dreams, if you want these dreams, this level of respect in a marketplace, this level of freedom in a marketplace, they come with a lot of demand. It's very, very demanding. What does that mean? Today is 4th of July, 5th of July, Monday. Everybody's on the weekend. I'm at the office here all day today. We're working. We're driving, right? With my kids here. Two of my kids are here with me. They're doing their homeworks. One just finished the book. The other one's writing the ABCs five times, right? Are you the demand? How demanding are your big dreams? Very. The next answer to the question. The next question is the technical one. You ready? Are you willing to meet the demands of your big dreams? And that's where this person says, I don't think so. But when this person makes that decision, nobody knows it. It's subtle. It's very small. It's very subtle. And they start redirecting everything else to big dreams are not, not that important. Life is not, they have to convince themselves, but until they're 60, 70, 80 years old, 
and they go to their deathbed and they remember that 35 year old conversation when they were 40 years old they had that con whatever that conversation was that I simply was not willing to meet the demands of my big dreams and this person also hit that wall at one point where they realize how demanding it is how serious it is and this person said I am willing to meet the demand you know what happens once you think about this the one question that this person didn't ask that this person asked, and they got deeper into it, was the following. A lot of times people criticize me. They say, Pat's a story, one of the best storytellers, but man, Pat's so much about details, and his stories get drawn out. Totally get it. But to me, I'm about details. The last question is critical. The question is, how is it going to feel when your dreams become a reality? Go there. You go there, whatever it is. Governor, congressman, senator, billionaire, millionaire, founder of a company taking a company public, the house, the yacht, the boat, the trips, the travel, the accolades, the respect, the comment from your mom, your dad, your teacher, your professor, your enemy, your competitor, whatever it may be, big audition. How's it going to feel? In that moment, if you can convince yourself that feeling is so insanely good, then you would be willing to pay the price that the man needed for your big dreams to become a reality. But if you can't sell yourself on that feeling worth experiencing, you're going to be in this camp. But if you can, you're going to be in this camp. By the way, this camp is not that busy. This camp is busy with a lot of different people who did not want to answer that question and they don't want to meet those demands. So for you, how's it going to feel? Look, I'll give it to you from multiple different areas. You, people around you, your legacy. For you, the way you look at yourself in a mirror to know that you said something's going to become a reality and become a reality, that level of respect is priceless. You can't buy that at Walmart, Nordstrom's, Neiman Marcus, or online. You cannot. You can only earn that, right? Number one. Number two, how's it going to feel in the marketplace? The marketplace, a lot of people are going to say, man, this guy said they're gonna, he's going to do it. He did it. This girl said she's going to do it, and she did it. Level of respect and salute goes to the highest level. Of course, more haters show up, but even haters respect you. You know what's the biggest one? The legacy side is your kids, if you do it right. Your next generation, if you do it right, they're going to watch you and they're going to say, man, my dad, my mom's fire. I want to replicate that. And if you teach them the right way and you raise them the right way, that legacy continues if you do it the right way. So, yes, at one point, we all have to answer one, uh, four questions. How big are your dreams? How demanding are your dreams? Are you willing to meet that demand? And how is it going to feel if those dreams become a reality? If the answer to those questions are very big, you write them out very demanding, you write them out. I'm willing to meet the demand, go do it. And I want to experience because I think it's going to feel incredible, then you go pay the price and eventually your big dreams are going to become a reality. If you're watching the same Pat, I, I, just, I just kind of want to go experience this. What do you suggest I do next? I got a video specifically for you. It's called How to Reach Your Full Potential. If you've never watched it, go watch it. If you watch it, you may want to watch it again because that formula has been a proven formula for my life constantly my life it's happened so many times i'm in the middle of the ocean uh, to, uh yesterday uh in fort lauderdale and when tom his kids and my kids in the middle of the ocean this husband and wife run up to me while i'm with tico dylan and senna oh my gosh we follow back you don't even know this they're talking to me and they said we took our business from a half a million dollars to 10 million dollars a year simply because the content we devour he they said I tell you, I guarantee you, no one's devoured your content more than us. We are students of this business. I'm simply sharing with you stuff that's worked for me and my life. Hopefully today's message to you inspires you to answer one question. Are you willing to meet the demands? If you do, future looks bright. Take care, everybody.